So hello everyone my name is Tejas and welcome to my channel Self Study with Tejas and if you are passionate about science and aiming to excel in the NSO exam then you are in the right place so today we are going to learn NSO chapter 9 air around us so let's start chapter number 9 air around us first question Manisha took some vinegar in a test tube and added some baking soda to it then she lit a matchstick and brought it near the mouth of the test tube the flame of matchstick got extinguished which of the following uh, which of the following is correct conclusion regarding the given experiment so the reaction of baking soda and vinegar forms carbon dioxide which does not support burning which means our correct answer here will be option number a carbon dioxide uh, uh, gas does not support burning <laughs> Now second question read the following statements first question the ozone layer is present in the troposphere so this is incorrect because the ozone layer is present in the stratosphere now second density of air decreases with the increasing at uh, altitude so yes this is a correct statement now after that third air is an element that surrounds the earth and makes it hospitable for living organism so this is incorrect because atmosphere is an element that surrounds the earth and makes it ha 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 hospitable for living organism so this is also incorrect after that fourth exosphere is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere so yes this is a again correct statement which means 2 and 4 are the correct statements so correct answer here will be option number b So question number 3 the instrument shown in the given figure is used to measure so this is a instrument known as anemometer which is used to measure the speed of wind so correct answer here will be option number b Now fourth question identify gases P and Q from the given pie chart and select the correct statement regarding them so this is the uh, this is the biggest portion covering which uh, so it can be nitrogen and q could be oxygen and other gases uh, are like carbon dioxide and many more so first we will read the first one p could be a gas that is an important component of the fertilizer so yes uh, nitrogen is very important for fertilizers so this could be a correct answer but here is the option all of these so we need to read b and c also now b Q could be a gas that helps to convert the food we eat into energy. So, oxygen could be a gas that helps to convert the food we eat into energy. So, yes, this is again correct. Now, C P does not support burning, whereas Q supports burning. So, this is again correct because nitrogen does not support burning and oxygen supports burning. So, the correct answer here will be option number D. Now, fifth question. Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement one: Percentage of oxygen in the air remains almost the same. So yes, this is a correct statement. Now statement two: Oxygen is added to air during the process of photosynthesis. So yes, this is also a correct statement. So our correct answer here will be option number A. Both statement one and two are true, and uh, statement two is the correct explanation of statement one. Now sixth question select the odd one out on the basis of the uh, of greenhouse gas so oxygen is not a greenhouse gas b nitrous oxide yes it is a greenhouse gas c carbon dioxide which is again a greenhouse gas and methane which is a greenhouse gas so here our odd one out will be oxygen because it is a it is not a greenhouse gas now seventh question which of the following statements are true about acid rain First acid rain has harmful effects on the living beings so yes this is a correct statement now to acid rain mainly comprises of h2so4 which is sulfuric acid and hno3 which is nitric acid so yes this is also correct now third acid rain causes damage to the ozone layer so yes this is a incorrect statement and now four acid rain causes damage to the buildings and monuments so yes this is also a correct statement which means the correct statements are 1 2 and 4 so correct answer will be option number d now eighth question four identical wet towels were hung out on clothes line to dry under different conditions so we know the cloth will be in the hottest condition will dry first 
so ice will ready first because it is in sunny day at 35 degrees celsius so first will be s so correct answer is option number d but still we will read r q and p so after that q will dry because it is a sunny day at 32 degree celsius so after that q and after that it will be r cloudy day which is also at 32 degree celsius and at the last p rainy day 22 degree celsius so correct answer here will be option number d so ninth study the following experiment tie two balloons at equal distance from the midpoint of a scale so that it is balanced now after that now fill one balloon by blowing air in it and place it as it is original position what could be inferred from the above experiment so we can see that when the two were not blown it it was balanced but when one was blown it become heavier which means air has mass so the correct answer will be option number c now 10th question refer to the given venn diagram and select the correct statement regarding x so x is a greenhouse gas and causes depletion of ozone layer so it could be chlorofluorocarbons so a percentage of x in atmosphere is 0.04% so this is an incorrect statement now after that b x is important for the occurrence of water cycle in nature so chlorofluorocarbons are not important for water cycle in nature so this is also incorrect now c x is used in refrigerators and aerosol spray so yes this is a correct statement which means our correct answer will be option number c so question number 11 refer to the given flow chart and identify x y and z one of the constitu uh, constituents of air yes supports burning gas yes. which means it could be oxygen so correct answer will be from option number a or d now supports burning no a greenhouse gas leading to global warming so it could be carbon dioxide which is co2 so correct answer is option number a but still we will read the next one a greenhouse gas leading to global warming no is an inert gas so inert gas has low chemical reactivity which means uh, which is helium so correct answer will be option number a now 12th question read the given statement and select the option that correctly identifies one and two so first a dash and dash maintain the balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen in air so photosynthesis maintain the balance of carbon dioxide and respiration maintains the balance of oxygen in air so correct answer will be option number d now 13th question which among the following is not a way to reduce air pollution a planting more trees so yes this is correct now after that b burning of plastic bags instead of recycling them so this is not a method to reduce air pollution so correct answer will be option number b so 14th question study the given flow chart which of the following letters represent nitrogen gas so start is it a gas no p so it will be not nitrogen after that it is a gas yes does it support burning yes which means it could be oxygen so it is also incorrect because we need nitrogen now after that does it support burning no is it given out during respiration yes which means it could be carbon dioxide and now is it given out during respiration no s so it could be nitrogen gas so correct answer will be option number d s now 15th question which among the given statement is incorrect regarding the properties of air a air becomes thinner with increasing altitude so yes this is correct now b air becomes heavier and settles down on getting heated so this is incorrect because air becomes light uh, lighter and uh, moves upwards on getting heated so correct answer will be option number b So achieve a section question number sixteen. Refer to the given pie chart showing the composition of different gases P, Q, and R in air. Select the incorrect statement regarding these gases. A. Plants and animals cannot use gas P directly from air. Animals obtain it from the plants, and plants take it soluble from the soil. So yes, this is a correct statement. 
Now B, a burning candle enclosed in a glass jar filled with ga gas cube gets extinguished early as compared to a burning candle enclosed in a glass jar containing only gas P. So this is an incorrect statement because gas Q is oxygen and gas P is nitrogen. So oxygen supports burning whereas nitrogen does not support burning. Our correct answer will be option number B. So 17 question. Three organisms were kept in an enclosed setup for 10 days. The amount of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide were assessed during the span of these 10 days. Which graph correctly shows the change in amount of these gases during the, this time? So here is the key. A straight line is nitrogen, dotted line is carbon dioxide and dash uh, dash dash is oxygen. So the amount of nitrogen will remain constant and the amount of oxygen will decrease as they uh, breathe in and the amount of carbon dioxide will increase as they breathe out. So correct answer will be option number C. So 18th question, identify X in the given pie chart of composition of air and select the option that correctly fills the blank. So X is oxygen and now oxygen is a component of atmos atmospheric air that helps in dash. So uh, first continuing of water cycle, so no and after that respiration, yes. For photosynthesis, no. For extinguishing fire, no. For formation of fog, no. And for burning of candles, yes. Which means for 2 and 6 only. So cor correct answer will be option number A. Now 19 question. Refer to the given figure representing different layers of earth atmosphere and select the incorrect statement regarding it. So P is troposphere. Q is stratosphere, R is mesosphere and S is uh, thermosphere. So A, wind, storm and snow are formed in P layer of atmosphere. So uh, P is troposphere, so yes this is correct. Now B, Q is the atmospheric layer where most clouds are formed as 99% of, of the water vapors are present in this layer. So this is incorrect because in troposphere, uh, troposphere is the atmospheric layer where most clouds are formed as 99% of the water vapors are present in this layer. So the incorrect statement is option number B. So last question for today, question number 20. Study the given one diagram and identify the gases L, M and N present in our atmosphere. Select the incorrect option regarding characteristics of X, Y and Z of these gases. So A x support life on earth so x is carbon dioxide and oxygen which support life on earth so this is correct after that y do not support uh, combustion so it is carbon dioxide and nitrogen which do not support combustion so yes this is also correct now see a uh, form compounds that are components of acid rain. So oxide of nitrogen react with water vapor present in air forming nitric acid which fall down with rain as acid rain. So uh, this is also correct. So uh, correct answer will be option number D none of these. So if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.